Hey guys, Sushi Kawaza here. <coughs> Should be <laughs> welcome back to another Monday play stream. Where yes, it's a new um play stream. We started doing on Mondays just to you know chill out, relax, show you what I'm sort of doing in the game, bits like that. So as I said sort of last week, dude, no crystals really to pop this week. We're saving all our crystals. We'll have some to pop next week after the anniversary. So can't wait for that. But we're gonna be doing a bit of Zen farming and we're gonna do a bit of Titan Assault and just chill out basically but we've been quite lucky tonight so not only have we hit a top war so we can maybe have a look at going through uh some of those bases you've also got me on defense as well so we can watch some defense replays how cool is that so yeah i'm super pumped that this has sort of happened just it's sort of like it was made to be like it's made to be so yeah cool but uh, first of all let's say a few hellos in the chat so we've got uh chris harman we've obviously got grind time thanks for joining bud uh we've got richard trinder as well thanks for joining mitchell vf1j we've got wimbley william wilkinson stuck in beta joseph Torillo, and william chowder as well so yeah i appreciate everyone for joining me and tuning in i'm sure a few more people are joining later on but for now yeah thanks for joining in. And uh, you know what, as always, just like this Monday stream, so I'm going to, you know, give a social cause of Sash Crystal to the first three guys in the chat. So Chris Harmon, Grind Time, Richard Trinder, hit me up on Discord and we'll give you a Sunstreak of Water stash crystal just to be one of the first in the chat as i thank you for joining me but yeah thanks as always. But don't forget guys, if you want to get notifications of my streams, the best way to do it is simply subscribe. We're 10 away from 4K, just 10 subs, 10 subs. So yeah, listen, if you're not subscribed already, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss another stream, never miss another video. Cool. Okay, so what's everyone else been up to this week then? Uh, how was the event for you guys? So for those that don't know, for me, basically, this, this is a bank holiday in England. It was a big bank holiday anyway. It was a Queen's Jubilee, so, uh, you know, 70 years it made. So, uh, so we had... Uh, we know a bank holiday normally is Saturday, Sunday, and then we have the Monday off. Uh, because of Queen's Jubilee, we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So huge weekend for you know the restaurant and bar industry. Uh, because everyone's off work. What do you do? You go for a drink with your friends. You go for a few drinks. The weather was really good as well. But then to double that up, uh, we also had a, a free music festival outside. Uh our pub basically right outside the doors um so we had a lot of you guys america might know these guys but we had the hot chocolate the foundations so uh you know we had these people on free just to go and watch that's pretty cool we had some music on in the pub we don't really have music on in the pub it's not a sort of thing we just have a it's a pretty chilled atmosphere uh we had music for the first time ever in the pub which is really good we had like a jazz band nine piece jazz band uh playing all like ska music and stuff really good party atmosphere absolutely brilliant weekend but long hours because it's our busiest weekend of the year I'm, I'm pretty much there all weekend so i only did about i think it was 12k in the event i ended up doing which uh i'm a bit gutted about but hey i was lucky enough to even get that i'll be honest but yeah it was an all right event it was chilled out but yeah um let's see what anyone else <clears throat> Mitch has put only top three. Yeah, only top three, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> welcome again. Welcome Penny Lancaster as well. I knew a few were joining, like I said. Um, but yeah, it was a cool atmosphere. It was. It was really good. Um, but yeah, hectic. I'm glad it's done with. It, it was hard. <clears throat> because in my business, we judge ourselves obviously weekly, but the big things are Christmas and what we call Darwin Live. So it's in Darwin where I work. So Darwin Live is huge uh, because it's our busiest day of the year. So there's the two sort of things you judged on. It's our uh, our record day ever was on a Darwin Live and our record week ever was at Christmas. So we're always trying to beat them targets and uh, we, we was pretty close. I'm not gonna lie, we are pretty close, but we didn't quite get it. But I'm sure come next year we can probably smash that i think but yeah it was it was uh, it was a good weekend though it was but just a hectic busy weekend uh and it's still going on now i literally worked from uh 3 p.m to 2 a.m on saturday they went back in at 2 p.m until 9 p.m on sunday then back in at 9 a.m on until uh 4 p.m bar for today so it's, it's, it's literally been work sleep work sleep work stream <laughs> so yeah so uh but yeah it was a uh, like i said it was a interesting weekend it was 
So, where are we up to? So, the big one for me is I want to get my Titan up ASAP. I'm already a week behind because I was foolish. Uh, I did want to upgrade my Titan during the week. I thought I'll wait till leaderboard and then leaderboard weekend. Upgraded my Titan because there's no real tracked walls. Thought that makes sense. Upgraded my Titan and then forgot to finish Titan Assault off. I obviously didn't want to do it, you know what I mean? But yeah, so I'm a week behind, which I'm pretty gutted about. I'm usually pretty good at these things. Um, but yeah, we want to get it to level 18 uh, for this. So we were, we were testing this and testing. And it was ridiculous. It really was. So every 30 seconds, so four or five times in a battle, something like that, your Titan makes your enemy's bots and defenses 30% slower. So your bots are just like a snail pace for 10 seconds. It, it, when it happened in the test server, we were like, what is going on? Because obviously when we test these effects, we test these effects in the next few weeks. So we will test level 18 Titans on the uh, test account. It was crazy. It was. I'm not sure if it's going to stay like that. I'm not too sure. It was crazy hard. But I will try to get to that point um, and get that put in. Uh, and in terms of the tech tree, uh, I want to obviously get the tech tree up. We won't do that tonight. I don't want to get uh, that many points tonight. Uh, but yeah, so through that, I uh, want to get the... Uh, the standstill unlocked. We want to get that unlocked. Uh, I've got to spend uh, just three more. Um, so, warrior stunt immunity. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Special class ability damage, that'd be great. Go to attack, would be good. Um, but yeah, the big one. The big one. Resource buildings, damage reflection. Ouch, that's going to be so hard. It really is. So, uh, looking forward to unlocking that. Spider attack, electrical damage resistance. They start getting really silly now. They really do. Um, some of these are crazy good. But you got to think, like, you know. So, <clears throat> there's not much left to do. There's not, you know, it's going to take us a good few weeks still. It could be maybe 12 weeks, 14 weeks, something. But, what's next? You know. Are we going to see 5-star Titans then with HQ18? Does that mean HQ18 is going to be 12 weeks away? You know, are we going to see Fortress Maximus? Who's to know? Who's to know? But, you know, all these things are coming. So, yeah. Put a bit of music on. I said music. I mean, background wind at the minute. But, yeah. Well, then Walker's put in the event. I got two four stars. Air Raid and Inferno. Yeah, Air Raid are right. Yeah, Inferno, not so much. Uh, put a gold enhanced ordnance on Air Raid. Yeah, it makes sense. And a gold tactician on Inferno. Um, I don't really use Inferno. Obviously, he had his day with the uh, Lita Stomp, uh, but not a big fan of Inferno. But uh, you can put anything on him, really, within reason. But yeah, definitely um, an enhanced ordnance on the. Uh, an air raid without doubt. Yeah. Lance said he did Titan health and attack first. Yeah, I went attack first. Um, I, I always prioritize attack because I just think that you you may get picked for defense one out of five wars, one out of ten wars, even even more depending on how often you change your base. So you know. But you attack every single war. You attack five times every single war. So your attack is a lot more important. Your 300 points you're getting is probably more important than the stops. If everyone in the alliance can get 300 every single war, you know what I mean? But no one stops anyone. I guess it's a race, but you know the idea is that someone will stop someone. You get your 300, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, listen, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. But you know that's the way my outlook. I just think that I always prioritize attack in anything. I always prioritize my attack over defense. If I'm choosing a core... For example, Blaster. So I've got Quintus on Blaster. I probably should have, have his G1 core in an outpost. Because I have Blaster in an outpost. But I am but I prioritise attack. Quintus on Blaster is amazing. So, you know. It, but yeah, there's no bad bug thing like you said. But yeah. uh, didn't get much Zen farming done last week either. Zen for the same reason. Uh, obviously. So where are we up to? Let's have a quick update on crystals and stuff. I mean... 61k four star shards now and 13.5k. So, this were once I get to 10k four star, uh, 70k, sorry, another 10k uh, four star shards, uh, I'm basically at a five star crystal just from four star shards. So, I'm 10k four star shards of crystal there, but you've got to think there as well. So, 
if we open primal which i'm planning to just to get another five star there's 180 shards um i pull two five stars so that's another 200 180 shards times three then i've got the four star crystal five star pull that's four times 180 shards uh, then we've got the side pass at the minute. I've got another 1,500. So I've got like over 2,500 shards. Sort of, you know, by the end of the month, which guaranteed. So uh, well on our way to hopefully having five pulls maybe for the next time the next batch comes. We've started the vault, so I can't see it being too long. But we'll definitely have four pulls. We've got uh, pretty much four pulls right now by the end of this month with the side pass. So uh, looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, obviously got the... Um, community event for the uh you know uh six years and we'll get the combat i've got another combat there so a lot of bots a lot of bots coming over the next few weeks some decent crystal uh openings do some giveaways things like that and don't forget if you are a platinum member we're doing a giveaway end of this month it's that time again where we give a $30 gift card away. I think we've got about seven platinum members. Once we get to 10, I've said I will up it to 50. So if you do want to fancy being a platinum member, platinum members have a giveaway every other month uh, for a gift card. Uh, I also say, listen, hit me up anytime you want about anything. You can book in with me a certain time where I can say, listen, I will dedicate an hour, two hours to go through your bots, your base, uh, basically sort of not on call or such, but you know, you can hit me up any time and go, listen, Moza, I'm struggling with this, can you help me? And I'll sort of dedicate a time for you. It's not a case of, you know, some people will throw me some questions and it's sort of, everything can get round to it and I'll try and help best I can, but it's not that in depth. But if you're a platinum member, you know, that's what you sort of get for that. And uh, I mean, some people just want to support the channel, which is fair enough, and I appreciate that as well. But once we get to 10 members, we're going to up that gift card, and that helps other members as well. So, pretty cool. Uh, it's dead quick on the chat. So, uh, so Penny Lancaster's put, why not use Quintus on another bot on the team? Um, it's because... So, oh, okay. So, Quintus uh, minions and Blasters minions all help towards keeping blaster alive so i have stripes on rook i have my chronos on rook that helps keep him alive i've got two healers as well then i've got rook uh, i've got blaster with his minions and quintus along with traxodon which helps healing so if i was to put quintus on rook i'd have to move it, it would it would blaster wouldn't get as much healing because he's not got the sharks anymore and I'd maybe have to move Traxodon to Rook, but then he wouldn't get as much healing either, if that makes sense. So, to maximize the healing, Blaster with Quintus and the minions and Taraxodon is literally probably game-breaking, to be honest with you. I still think he's the best bot in the game. I really do. He just does not die. A few wars I've pretty much lost had Blaster left. And just throw his minions out. I mean, 60k health on the battlefield or something like 45... Uh, was it? No, 4.5k DPS. Something stupid like that it was. You know, it's, it's crazy. You know, blast it. Absolutely crazy stats. Uh, and it works for me. You know, but I get, I get what you're saying. You can move Quintus and then put the G1 on him. But uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of his G1 core on attack. So, uh, blast is a massive part of my team. So, that's the reason. Um... Uh, Chris Hammond's put how how I run Blaster. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you a visual sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind going from a war team actually. So uh, we'll go from a war team. I'll show you how I set it all up. Uh, Lance has put I've got two drops on my team already. Can I analyze it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back into that instead. I know, but so uh, let's just. I won't go into that in case we use our war team by mistake. But yeah. Yeah, Penny Lancaster's put. I get it. It's about taking advantage of the axe. That's exactly it. Yeah. So, in terms of my war team, I've said this sort of in playtest, and I said it in the past. I don't rely on eight bots. I I sub in and sub out bots depending on the layout. This is by no means my war team. I was just trying something out in the last war. Um, but there's certain bots that will stay no matter what. So Rook is always in my team. Blaster is always in my team. Ratchet's always in. Wheeljack is always in. Those four bots do not move ever. The other four. I do top and change. So, um, Rook, I have set up with uh, Stripes and my Cronus. Again, just a lot of healing. I do want to take my Cronus off and put him on a gunner. But the problem is, because I do switch these gunners out constantly, it means I have to keep switching cores. 
And I want my Cronus in all the time. There's certain calls that I will not go without. And I will not go without my Cronus. So it needs to be on a bot that stays there. So maybe on a healer. But I'll explain that in a minute. Maybe not. Um, then we've got Blaster. Like I said, Blaster's set up with uh, Quintus and Taraxodon. Absolutely immense. Absolutely unbelievable. Honestly. Crazy good. Um, then we've got Ratchet, who's a staple. Uh, so we've got him with uh, Rung, uh, uh, the uh, healer core. I've got his G1, but I've got this level 17, and it costs a lot of cores to level that up. So I don't really see the point right now. But we've got him at 6511. Uh, Wheeljack's one of the few that aren't maxed out, uh, but he does a good job as it is. So um, no real need to as such. Uh, but Wheeljack is at 6411. With Alpha Trion, another core that I would not go without. Alpha Trion, uh, Quintus, Micronus, not a chance. Uh, he's also got Rung as well. Uh, and then the interchangeable bot. So we've obviously got Bumblebee. I've tried a few things with Bumblebee. I've tried Flak and Primer and things like that. But I just feel like uh, Alchemist just does well with Bumblebee, really. I, he needs a lot of healing sometimes. Until they fix him anyway. Once they fix him, I might take Alchemist off. But he gets in danger very quickly. Uh, because of his uh, problem of going to melee. I asked spoke to um, uh, Dale about it, and he said hopefully Fabian will look at it this week, which I'm glad about. I hope he does. Uh, there's also a glitch with uh, Slash and Cheetah where they do no damage. There's also been a report of uh, Omega Supreme doing no damage. Um, so there's something kind of bug which they're trying to fix. So yeah, be wary of that, guys. Be wary of using Omega Supreme's uh, four-star ability. Uh, I'm relying on it because it's not working properly. Uh, and be careful using Cheeto and Slash as well. Um, so, yeah, we've got Bumblebee there. We've got uh, Sea Spray. Obviously set up with a VM. Got a VM on him. Uh, I've got Top Shot because he does stay my team most of the time. 90% of the time. Uh, Jetfire. Um, with his uh, G-Metal uh, Core and uh, Top Shot. Uh, just go back to um, Sea Spray. The only time I wouldn't use Sea Spray is if they've got a lot of electrical, anti electric cores. I'd say B and Sea Spray right out and just keep Jetfire and Blades in and a couple of tanks, maybe. Um, maybe even tracks, maybe, because there's no FFD, maybe. Uh, Blades, then we've got uh, Prime and Flak on Blades. Uh, we don't want enhanced ordnance on Blades, really. Not the way I use it, anyway. I don't really use Blades as much. To do damage i use it more to stop them from hitting me so it's 11 seconds so say there is uh you know a beam laser especially that's you know hitting my bots and say rook is the other side of the map or something when my gunners are gonna die i'll use blades to sort of hit that area to give my gunners a chance to maybe get into that area and take it out just with its natural dps i use a lot of bots to distract so i use rook to distract the defenses i use blaster to distract the defenses i use c spray to distract them by stunning them i use b to stun them to distract them i use blades to stun and distract them i use laser optimus for the same reason so a lot of stun in the team so stun cause probably the hardest for me to be honest but they're easy countable take them out go as normal uh, other bots, I do use smoke screens sometimes, so I've got him with a uh, glitch and his G1 core. That's definitely the uh, favoured setup. Uh, I've tried using Slash, not at the minute, like I said, because she's a bit broken. Uh, but I've tried using Slash uh, on certain bases. Um, Rhinox, I use quite often as well. Uh, with Taraxodon, his, uh, his Transmetal Core with 11 is amazing. Absolutely unbelievable. Great in outposts. I love the fact that the ability uh, kicks back in again. Once he goes below 40% um, health, is it? So, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, and then we've got Laser Optimus. I, I prefer Al Algamus over his G1. I've got both at level 18. Uh, I prefer Malgamus because it heals him, so it gets him out of trouble sometimes. Cause you can protect him for his ability, but once he's over, if he's at low health, he'll still be at low health. You protected him for that time, but he'll still be at low health. Whereas this sort of heals him. So if you get a sort of bit of a break where he's not getting hit, you can use this to get him back to full health again. So I, I prefer Amalgamus to his, his core. Um, Pain of Lancaster's put my Cronus works well with uh, with Engineer Hoist. <laughs> so Hoist. I don't, obviously, I don't really use Hoist that much, but yeah. And Silbot's put the Blaster will go down fast without Quintus and Tourette's. Yeah, it probably will, to be fair, yeah. Uh, are you taking the Titan Extended Medic perk? Extended, yeah, of course, of course. Anything Medics is uh, getting... Um... 
Silbot, 100% gives him gun and light range. Yeah, yeah. Anything, anything medic, I'm, I'm all for. I'm not Tex. <laughs> Uh, yeah, same Lancer. Anything that enhances uh, medics. But yeah, I'm hoping for Minerva on my 5-star pulls. If she's in the batch, hopefully. I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're going to put SG Jetfire in there and leave Minerva for the next batch. I've got a sneaking suspicion. I won't be happy if that happens. But we'll see. Do I want 6-gun or SG Jetfire that much? That puts me off pulling from that batch. I'm not going to lie. And... With the record of the previous batch being alright, but not great, I'm slightly worried about this batch. I'm not going to lie, guys. I, I might even go back to older batches. So, you know, I mean, I, I haven't. There's, there's not much, really. I mean, yeah. Vincent Lee, what an increased gunner range perk. Yeah, anything. Anything in terms of that, really, but yeah. Uh. Rajan has put a uh, swoop with Amalgamus. Yeah, it's all right, but you, you can't beat his uh, G1 core. You can't. Swoop's G1 core is amazing without stun. Crazy good. Some cons are back from a mission. From, uh, fighting some dirty Autobots. Fight bizarre that I'm leveling cons. All my cons were level 1 for a long time. And I'm only doing it now for these little, little rewards and stuff, but very bizarre. Let's get Mixed Master. Oh, Mixed Master's a uh, level. Oh no, yeah, let's get Mixed Master up. Yeah, that's uh. Oh well, let's get, let's get Impactor up. I might just put some Spark into him eventually. Cool. Oh, it's uh, it's Hook. Let's put Hook in the cooker. We might have to get to 93 play level one day, maybe. <laughs> one day. <laughs> just for using cons. It's crazy. I can't even believe I'm actually doing this, but yeah. Yeah, Silbot's put, that'll be a hard skip. Yeah, maybe, I mean. Oh, look at the batches. I'm, I really wanted, I've been put off a bit. I really wanted Brainstorm. I like the new effects, by the way. I love these new effects. I really wanted Brainstorm. And Grind Time was like, yeah, I don't really use him. And Grind Time's got everybody in the game. So I was like, right. Then I talked to someone else, and they're like, yeah, he's, he's all right. And I'm like, am I missing something, though? Is it me that's missing something? Because I really want Brainstorm. I don't want Skylinks though. I don't like his pathing. I like to be able to equip range combats. So I, I, I'm not too sure about this patch. I'm really not. Um, that's pretty much done for me. I don't really need impact to win swoop. Um, that's pretty much done for me, depending on the combiners. But I don't want any of them bots as they are. I do actually want Warpath. Warpath's amazing, these effects. Absolutely amazing. He keeps coming back. You, you can't deny infinite range. You can't. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, having another outpost popper wouldn't be a bad thing. Having two in the team, it would reduce the cost down. But then who would wish you a place? It depends. Um, batch 3 is a no-go. I want Springer, but that's it. They were free or a no-go. So I'll, I'll leave Batch 3. Batch 3 is AFK gone dead. Bye. See ya. Nada. Not happening. Uh, batch 2. I'd like Optimus, but a 1 in 3 chance. I don't want these donkeys. So 1 in 3 chance. That is it. Now, something happened in playtest where I thought Sunstreaker weren't too bad, actually. I don't think it was that bad. So I'm thinking that Sunstreaker wouldn't be a disaster. I'm thinking now Grimlock's a disaster out of this batch. But then his ability levels are actually that pretty good as well. But I'd like Silbolt to help my slashing. I'd like Hot Rod. I'd like Gnaw. Oh, my Sunstreaker. So I might even go back to batch one. This is sad. it's a sad state of affairs when they're bringing out a new five star batch and you're like, yeah, I'm going back to the first one. You know, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? Let's be honest. But um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think Grimlock's a bit of a donkey. Not gonna lie. Yeah, Calvin's put Sunstreaker was always good. Well, I don't know. I think before his G1 and ability 11, it wasn't. But that ability 11 does, well, it does help him a bit, but. Ooh, I don't know. I won't get that far. Yeah, it's a glass cannon. Grimlock's a glass cannon. That's the problem. That's the problem. But as I look at defense, so we've got a few uh, stops already. 
I mean, obviously, these uh, these replays are not 100% correct, obviously. Uh, I won't show the leaderboard, show everyone's scores, but uh, I will show some of these attacks. Um, but, yeah, I've thought the base out, the design around these effects. So, that's the idea. If we can get someone to flame out, job done. I mean, I'm always base one because I don't level my course to max. And, obviously, everyone in Sai has. So, I'm always base one. But it's hard because if I get a drop and I'm base four... They lose loads of points. Base one, not so much. But you know what? If I can get them to drop some points, then yeah, job done. Oh, Skylink is at the uh, Transmetal Core. Did you not realise that? Oh, yeah, the FFT's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed it now. This is the idea. Hopefully the bots will split. Has he got Optimus in his team? No, but yeah. Uh, ideally, I want the bots to go through here and not through there, through this wall here. That's that's what I want. Um, maybe stay out of the middle section, but we'll see. We shall see. Ooh, he's lost a few bots there, hasn't he? I, I think he lost two basic sackings, so that's gonna be hard. But yeah, you, you've got to stop dead end. You can't leave dead end there like that. Is he hitting dead end? Yeah, he's hitting dead end, yeah. You need to. A lot of HP in them outposts, boys. A lot of HP in them outposts. Yeah, well, that's wrong. <laughs> Lancer, I doubt Six Gun will one shot the MDS. He won't. He won't one shot the MDS. He won't. I really don't think he will. I think people are a bit, a bit of delusion with that. Honestly, I do. You got to think of the Prime League effect. So you've got six thousand seven hundred health, but don't forget his burn. Is over. So looking at six gun, his burn is over. Uh, mine's around here somewhere. So his burn is over six seconds. So his burn will go. Is with the um, with the healing effects of this war, especially, and even with the uh, repair core, that damage will go. So you're relying on his other damage as well. So I mean, twenty percent increase. I call it a thirty percent increase. Cause mine's quite low. You're talking, I think it was about 5.5k. That is not, even 6k is not going to one-shot the MDS. And you have to be damn quick to two-shot it. To shoot maybe two MDS. But then you've got the shield on top of that. I wouldn't like to try it. I really don't think that 6-gun will two-shot the MDS. He definitely won't one-shot. 100% sure he will not one-shot it. Two-shot maybe. If you're a looker. But he, uh, I wouldn't like to bet on it. But the amount of healing. Uh, I showed in my last stream the fact that you've got, you know, self repair cores and you've got that. You know, I've even got a healing core there as well, which should be on the other side, really. But, you know, it's. Uh, I wouldn't like to bet on it. I really wouldn't. And you've got to think that I'll put the MDS up front because you're relying on people to have that one bot. You know? So I'd, even if you could one shot, I'd still put it up front. So what's this guy done? Oh, he's doing a cup pop. Hmm, he should have started here, really. He should have popped that whole post. Pop that one, maybe. Or pop that one, then pop that one, really. But... See, the mistake he's made here that he's got my highest... This is the design, by the way, by design. He's got my highest HP bot with a hollow, with my combiner, with, uh, you know, dead end right behind him. Which you do not want. So Paul's put nothing can one-shot them things, pretty much. 
Got to take out the shield gem first. Got to take out the uh, bill bots. Then he can one shot. And then so can sea spray. So, what's the difference? Ricky, I've got four star cup. Probably the best leveling bot in the game. If you can get a cup lagoon on him, absolutely brilliant. See, I think this wastes a lot of ability points out front. People doing this. I see the people doing this with laser optimus as well. It just wastes too many ability points if the the base is not front loaded. You've got to be careful not to waste ability points. This bit here, your healers should be able to cope. See, usually combine it early. We've got two outposts still here. You got Rhinox in there and. Is it Chromia in there as well? Maybe it's a Chromia out, I can't remember. But um, I can't remember using the outpost now. Look at Dead End here. This is what you don't want, guys. You do not want Dead End just popping off. I mean, it's alright, luckily, because he got killed by the uh, bots there. So it's not too bad. That Shock Tower is. Oh, you don't. Again, that Shock Tower is causing awful damage. Look at that. 2.5k damage it's causing. Those exploding buildings are nasty, guys. Nasty. Wow, he's, he's not even got the launch pad. Ouch. I mean, again, I'm not too sure this is right. This is correct. But ouch. Healer's gone now. See, even with his Titan winning. Ooh. If that's correct, that's nasty. Let's have a look at any more defenses we've got. I don't mind showing a few wins as well. Hopefully they are wins and they, you know we can actually see what they are. But yeah. Uh, Undertaker has asked if SG Jetfire on a max core does almost talk out. Can he take it out? No. Even SG Jetfire cannot take him out with his self repair core. His damage isn't quick enough. Even SG Jetfire. I think you're talking around 12.5, 13k damage you're talking about for an MDS. Use a bit of abilities, but he's alright. It's not the end of the world. He's got a bit of a split, though. That's not good. That's not good at all for him. He's gonna use, he's gonna lose Rook because the healers can't get around there fast enough. There goes the healers. That means they're gonna get killed. You don't want a split, guys. You do not want a split. That is the number one thing of walking. You do not want a split. See, he's got blades, but I've made it so that all the hackable stuff really is all spaced out. But you can see here, look. So look, he just hit that. So it's just not. Let's just take that MBS with. Someone, I think we jet fight maybe. And look, it's just self heat. Look at that. Look at <laughs> You got no chance. As soon as that MDS locks onto someone, you are not killing it. You are not killing it. It's still three outposts intact. That's the idea, guys. You wanted to use it, it combiner earlier. Not hit your outpost. Put your outpost towards the back more than your combiner. You don't want it to yeah, you want it to waste the uh, combiner early on. That's the idea. There's a four star ability. It is doing damage, affair. Look, it's self healing, look. Yeah, hey, he's got it. Just about. Maybe then Lance, if if if, uh, if you just shoot two rockets to the primary target, and that's guaranteed. Then yeah. I mean, you might know better than me. I don't really use a guy that much, so maybe you know better than me. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this guy's done a bit better, but he's not hit the outpost yet. I mean, guys are fighting this hard. It is hard, guys. It is. I'm expecting to drop points at this war or somewhat. I, I was close to dropping points. In the previous war, I really was.
to have a look at the next one. And we'll show a couple of wins as well. We'll go for a couple of win replays. See how they won me. See how they beat me. Sorry, not won me. It's poor English. Let's have a look. What's he done? So again, he's going with Impactor out front. Reflecting that damage. But... I thought Impactor... No, is it soaking up damage in Impactor? I thought it was... Uh... Ah, absorbing. I thought it was reflection. Oh, that's not good then. I thought I'd kill that beam laser just by reflecting it. So it's done well to clear there. It's done the right thing. Clearing it. Clearing a path. Uh, but I think impact. Uh, oh, it's, no, it's done all right to fair. It's done good. It's done all right there. It's done all right, lad. It's done all right. It's going to cause a bit of a split now, I think. Yep, there's a split. Gunners are walking round. Oh, they're coming back in, I think. Yeah, they're coming back in. It's all right. But the problem is now, by design, he's gone through the side bit. And you've got this MDS hitting him from the side. And the mortars, they're taking a lot of damage now. And they can't reach the mortars. The far ones, anyway. Look at that. Really going to struggle going up the side. You've got, to, you've got to get the middle somehow. But I've designed it so you go up the side. See, at this point here, I'd be taking the bots out. I wouldn't be worried about any of these defenses now. I'd be like, I have got to get this guy gone. I've got to get the combiner health down. That's priority. You've got to get this guy, guys. You've got to kill him. You've got to kill that end. I think he's just run out of HP, I think. Uh, DPS, so he must run out of DPS. Yeah, well, yeah, and the bots have died, but. Interesting. Interesting. So let's see if some of the guys who beat my base. How did they beat it? What teams did they use? This is when I sort of start making adjustments to my base. I watch these replays and go, hmm. Yeah, it's Breakneck. What did I say? Did I say Breakneck? I'm sure I did. But if it didn't, I apologise. It is Breakneck. Oh, right. Sorry. They just look so much alike. But yeah, I get mixed up all the time. Sorry. Yeah, it's Breakneck. Apologies. Not dead end. That'd be awful. <laughs> so, look at BX's replay. This guy was in testing for a while. Knows his stuff. Decent enough guy. Good player. I expect nothing less from him. If he's watching, I expect a 300. <laughs> Probably has already, to be fair to him. Look, Warpath. See, Warpath. Told you, Warpath is the answer to these effect guys. They're not healing if they're doing any damage. If you can take them out from range. Job done. Look at that. Cool. Loving life. Hmm, yeah, still bots, but yeah, combiners have a hundred percent health in PL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of lot of HP. But he has got a bit of a split going on. Warpath's gone. If the bot goes this way, he's gone. Okay, and by design, I've had a beam laser out front to kill any stragglers. Make him use his combiner. Oh, he's dropped it too early. Has he dropped it too early? No, he's good. He's good. Why did the hat not kick in? Oh, there we go. I wondered there for a minute. Well, I think that's false, I think, because... I don't know, has it? Has it been hacked? Maybe he has been hacked. Who knows? So why has this bot not got a shield? Is that because it got hacked, maybe? Boom, look at them minions. Taking half that health, look at that. Boom. 
But no, job well done. I mean, he's lost a few bots. That's good. No, nothing too crazy. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's the most, um, I think your team. But, hey, you got the job done. Well done, BX. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. So I'll get a couple more replays. But uh hey, defense is holding up. We've got some we've got some uh drops. Uh yeah, Xen as well. Good guy. Used to be in Sai a long time ago. Uh yeah, decent guy. Watch his replay. See how he did, see if he can uh, 300 as well. So he's going with impact. So a bit of a water team, a bit like myself, really. It's tough Bumblebee, but I have got a lot of uh, anti uh, stun core, so. And sea spray, so. Not too sure. Maybe he's just maybe he's using um, Hot Rod quite a bit because he's only two FFD. And that's what I like about these guys. That's what I like about these effects. You know? See there, they're going sideways. That's cool. Impact has gone up the middle. That'll probably save him, to be honest with you. That's probably what's, what saved him. He's having impact to go up the middle bit. If he goes up there, and he can't reach these, then uh, if there's a martyr here, then maybe. Drops Omega. Easy win now, really. Walter, number one in the research lab bug is very annoying. Uh, I think so, yeah. Easy win. I was defeated. But nah, fair play to him. You know, fair play. You can't stop everyone. As long as you're getting... If you're in a war, guys, and you're getting some stops, then, you know, you've done your job. But, yeah. Cool. Let's have a look at base one. Okay. Well, all the billboards are at the top. So we can hack this bottom bit. You guys got one anti air there, so there's no point in hacking that, really. But uh, there's no anti stun down the bottom, nothing like that. So we can pretty much one shot or two shot all of this here. Um, easily done. There's an armor core on that, so quite poor, really. Um, high velocity, yeah. So we might not take blades uh, or jet fire. Keep away from the anti air. Shoot some ground troops. So we've got a lightning rod anti stun there. So we will not take bumblebee. We don't take tracks. Uh, we're not taking blades anyway. Healing billbot. Um, and where's the other one hiding? Is it there? That's it. Yeah, zone heal, so there's only one anti-stun, to be fair. Uh, it doesn't cover the bottom bit, so I'm sure we can take this out with sea spray. Um, pop this with rook as well, so we can probably use sea spray up this way. Take this out with... Um, oh, I want to take this out with jet fire, really, but... I might take it out with laser optimus, actually. Um, pop rook over here, destroy this section with rook. And then sea spray up this way. Pop that with rook or blaster. There's a lot of outposts to pop because they're all staggered. Um, I would kind of use Afterbreaker, but I've never used it before in a trapped war, so I'm a bit reluctant, really. Grand for, for uh, Warpath the BB. I ain't got Warpath. <laughs> but yeah, they are, they are in an easy line there. Look at that. I think here. Yeah, I don't think we can get all three. I'm not sure. We can definitely get two. Oh, them three you can. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Matt Paul lost all three attempts on a base first time in a year. Yeah. Listen, you know, hard mode should be hard. Don't get me wrong. You know, it should be. But we can take this bottom section out. 
I might actually use Sea Spray that way and stun him. Then to use Jetfire to take this out. And then Jetfire to take that out. And then just walk the rest. That's not a bad idea. If I can stun the anti air, then, uh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. what I'm thinking. I might use the Titan on the opposite Titan as well. So I need to chew my Titan out. I'm going to use my Titan. So I have my Titan set up two ways. Uh, either defensively or attacking. If I'm attacking the other Titan, I have it set up one way. If I'm just defending, hitting the base, uh, I set it up another way. I might even consider slashing this base if he if, if worked. But he doesn't. So, um, But Titan set up. Yep, we're a set for attack. Uh, except for defense, we just put that on. And that would make him last a bit longer against the Titan, basically. But we're going to use attack on the Titan, so uh, yeah, we're we'll going to do that. Let's have a go. So uh, we're not going to take Blade, like I said. Uh, we're going to take Laser Artemis instead. Uh, I don't think we need Jetfire or Bumblebee, so instead of Bumblebee, uh, we'll probably take... I might even take tracks, you know. Was it only one FFD? I think there was one now. I think there was one FFD, that's all. See, this is what I like as well. You've got to scout a base and sort of sub bots in and change bots around and see what suits you. But Warpath, uh, Sea Spray is going to have a field day here. Yeah, one FFD there. So once we get to around this station here, we can just sort of use that to protect our box. So as long as our... Uh, as long as our Titan wins, that's the main thing. So we need to concentrate on the Titan. So I don't need Jetfire in there. But... Hmm. Do I put Bumblebee in there? Bit of a thingy, isn't it? Do I put smoke screen in there? Oh, tracks, that's what it was, yeah. And I'll keep Rhinox in there as well. But man, that's a lot of tanks. I need to drop the tanks, so we'll go with... Um, go with smoke screen at the back. I want to go with two tanks, ideally, because I'm exploding buildings. Do I go red alert, even? Do I go red alert, even? Do I go that far? And do I give him ability 11? Do I do it? I've got a spark to spare, to be fair. Yeah, let's do it. It's done. Ability 11 for red alert. We'll get up to 60 as well one of these weekends. Uh, three star flak. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I don't not too bad about changing around. I'm trying to see. I think I'll do him. Cool. Red alert it is. Oh, I did one jet firing though, didn't I? <laughs> I don't really need smoke screen. I don't think so. We'll put jet fire in for that. Yeah. Cool. We'll go with that. Go with Omega. Yep. We'll go with that. A lot of protection there. Let's do it. Let's do it. A lot of protection there with Red Alert and with Sea Spray Storm and with uh, the minions and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll see. We will see. Let's stun all these now. And we can take that out as well. And there we go. Put the minions down to distract us. And use another sea spray over there. Let's 
Just gotta watch the health now and the healers a bit. We'll use wheel jack on there just to speed them up a bit. Watching the health, watching the health. Hit the retire and make sure. MDS and this target here, and I think we'll still pop the outpost sadly, but Ooh, he's not gonna kill that MDS, that's a waste of that ability. Put the tracks in there. Should we throw Blasted Minions up there as well? Just to cover us, that'll do a bit of damage, distract the defences and stuff. But we're in limbo now, we've got no more ability points left. I want to get tracks. We need tracks ability now. Even Red Alert even. to take out. Oh, I'm going to take out that. Take out the mortar. Oh, it's not even done it. We can use that now. Bill pot's gone, I think, so that should do it now. Should be based down. Yes. Cool. Base one down. Yeah, I'm playing on base one. That's a good thing. Okay. Any more drops? No more drops yet. They're all stopping. They're all stopping. Best way, guys. You drop on the base. Stop. Put the brakes on. Chill out. Okay. Next base. Let's have a look. So quite a front-loaded... We've seen a lot of these front-loaded bases, and they have a bit of a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so we want to take that out quickly. This uh, target protocol. So we can take that out. We've got anti-stun. Two FFDs. Uh, we've got an anti-hack in the middle, so anti-hack is covering that, so, um, but there's no massive hack things, like, no, areas like, that's not worth hacking, just two, that's maybe worth hacking, but, yeah, this area again, yeah, it's not, there's no, like, massive hack areas, no, like, loads of cannons together and things like that, so it's both spaced out, so, I don't need to worry about hacking, so, I could use stun cores, I could take this out with jet fire, is there any anti-air? No, so I could take out with jet fire from the start and then stun this area here with sea spray and bumblebee uh, to get me through that area. Two FFDs and then where's the other one? Where's the other one? One, two, three, four. I'm missing a billbot. FFD, FFD, lightning rod. Where are you? Where are you? There he is. There he is. Healing billbot. There's always a healing build, but a hiding behind the HQ. Always. Okay. So this time we need jet fire in there. So I'm going to take uh, tracks out because it's FFD this time. And it's the name of the game, guys. You know, you want to take... Uh, oh, we've got jet fire already in, haven't we? 
So, um, yeah, I want to take Red Alert out for uh, Jetfire. No, for Bumblebee. Yes, because he's only got one anti stun core. So, yeah, I could take tracks out as well. I want to have to keep the uh, gunners in, really, but uh, maybe there's Octopus. I like Rhinox to be able to charge behind the HQ if needs be, so uh, we'll do that. I don't like, yeah, I like two healers on two tanks, but I don't think Blaster really needs it much, so it's more of a Rook and Rhinox, but we'll see. Okay, cool. Didn't look at the MDS, but we'll have a look at that. What cores it's got on. If it's got an armor, if it's got a... Um, a healing core, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to do, but we can use a, hopefully use a, a rook for that. Blasters, minions, things like that. But I suppose there's no anti-stun core with no shield gen, it's going to be quite easy to take out, really. Uh, okay. Yeah, they've got healing billbots, so yeah. Down. As soon as you send in, we send the other bots down. So then we can do that there, like that. Bad on this side, I want it on the other side, really, because the MDS is going to heal. We didn't want that, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose. On there for that, and then put Buster's minions down. Oh, is it a mine? We can't do that. Put on there, but we can stun that area like that. We can use sea spray to sit out over there, and then use rook over there. Oh, I haven't got laser Artemis to, to counter um, the. Uh, I'm about to use a uh, Rhinox here, I think, just to uh, take that out. Got a bit of a split, which ain't good. On. So we've used B to try and disengage. And then we've got Jerry's jet fire. Try and uh, I think we need B more than jet fire, so we'll put it down there. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> We're gonna lose jet fire. We've sort of uh, accepted that fact, I think, though. But not if we. Uh, Stun that, maybe not. There we go. Cool. So the billbot is gone. Should's gone down. And uh yeah. Face down. Cool. Face down. And last has gone. Wow, nobody died. Yeah. <laughs> My bot's hardly... I, I, well, on these hard effects, I do lose a bot occasionally. Uh, Texas base is extremely hard for POW. It really was. But, yeah. <laughs> Paul is like, love a Rocky reference. <laughs> I'm glad someone got a reference. Okay. So, HQ right in the back. We've got Outpost right out front. We can sludge this area here quite here and do some damage and... He's got an armor core on, FFD, so not that good a setup. Uh, Billbots wise, anti stun, anti hack there. 
But this is a great hack area here. So I'm going to take that out with Jetfire. I think, where's the uh, anti air? There's no anti air. So I'm going to take that one out with Jetfire because I want to hack the hell out of this. Two cannons. They haven't got high velocity to be fair, but they've got two beam lasers. Cross proximity. That's a great hack. But look at this one as well. Two. Oh, I love this. I'm loving this. Yeah, we're going to blades this guy. We're going to sludge it at the start so we don't get a split. Um, and then we can get through to this uh, MDS as well. Um, anti stun call the covering. So I might use laser optimus. I might use sludge and laser optimus to sort of clear this front bit. <clears throat> but then we've got more tanks. I don't like more tanks really, but I might just put sludge and use someone else to clear that area. I don't want to take too many tanks. Um, and so, I mean, anti stun is my stumbling block. I rely on a lot of bumblebee and sea spray and stuff, so. Um, we can still use oh, sea spray won't be effective there, so uh, might have to just walk through it, I think, and hope for the best. Just use a lot of healing um, and then hack the hell out of this once we get close enough. Maybe, maybe. But there you go, where's FFD? There's one FFD up there, so I might actually take. Hmm, I don't think I need tracks though. So I'm going to take him out. Put blades in. I wonder if smoke screen after sludge will take them out. I don't think sludge will do enough damage to let our smoke screen take them out. So I think this is what we're going to go with, I think. I think this is what we're going to go with. Do I take sea spray out, though? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Oh, Kidoke. Sludge first. Oh, do drop C spray. Oh no! Oh my days! We've lost. That was ridiculous. Oh, I've lost Jetfire. That's not good already. We might actually drop on this base the way we're going. Combiner, but I can't get in range. I need to. I need to get Rook out of this stun. Oh no! Yeah, I've got to do it. Oh, thank God he's popped. <laughs>
We need to take a mortar out. We've got to take a mortar out. Oh no, Triptychon's alive! No! This ain't good at all. This is not good. This is not good. Could be based down. It, it could be. Wow, we've dropped. We've lost. Wow, those anti stun cores are killers. We've lost. Happens, guys. You know, I'm glad about this. Like I said, I'm glad that these things happen. Like I said, because it means you got to you got to challenge yourself. You got to try and get around these things. I've got to now work out a way to get past this. You know, um, yeah, that anti stun call are causing me causing me nightmares. So maybe we should prioritize them with Jetfire rather than the anti. Uh, Rather than the anti hack, because you see there, Jetfire was lost Jetfire in the launch pad. Whew! It was game over. It was going to be hard by them. It really was. But, um, yeah, but listen. People go drop points. People will drop points in these effects, guys. Definitely. They are hard. And they should be. You know, we've been seeing wars around the 10 and a half, 11k mark. And again, that's where they should be. Plain and simple. You know, people should drop points. I'm not saying flame out on base one, but people should drop points. That's how it should work, guys. But uh, I, I'm quite pleased that base design is now working and people are now sort of like thinking of creative ways to create bases again. But yeah. Lance, what happened to Jetfire? I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, just died on a launch pad. I think he got hit by uh, the MDS a cannon, a turret, basically. Uh, I think I misdeployed. I think I could. I think I need to deploy on the right hand side and go through, and maybe take the mortars out rather than um, go for the middle section. I was, I was worried about his middle section, but uh, maybe it should be. Uh, there's Jetfire there. Yeah, look, Jetfire's gone out ahead, and then just got smashed by the uh, MDS, basically. <laughs> Maybe I should have used Jetfire in the MDS at the start and then take that out and then go from there, maybe, but yeah. Maybe I should take the MDS out first. I'm not going to do it yet, though. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to, you know, come back fresh, so take a break. But yeah. And Jar Buff is in the chat. Hey, fair enough, bud. Fair enough. Nice base, bud. Nice base. I like it. Those anti-stuns are, uh, are killers. Don't change them anti-stuns. Uh, there's always a way around it. Always a way around it. But yeah, I like the challenge. Yeah, so yeah, I think I'm going to use Jetfire more. Uh, let's take out the anti-stun cores maybe. Or, uh, is it even rushable? I don't even know. I've been doing rush and smash a lot on some bases as well, even in testing. I didn't even look at it as rushable. Uh, I don't think it is. Don't think it is. Nah, it's too far that. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. I think we could do a rush up to here, I think. I rush up to here, take this billboard out. I can rush the billboard definitely. I'm gonna pop the outpost. I can look at it in the outpost and pick one that I want to pop, and then rush it. I could sludge rush. I could sludge this area and rush up the side anyway. But hmm. But again, your heels getting hit from behind. I don't like that. I like this though. I like this. I like this that you do. You that now you're gonna drop from a base. And you're like, right? How can I change this? You know, how can I make it a bit harder? You know, this is good. This is how it should be. But I'm still thinking jet fire be the answer. Jet fire, jet fire, jet fire. Sea spray the shit out of it. <laughs> Apologize for swearing. I think it's the first time I swore on my channel. It's a good thing. I like it. Cool. Yeah, well, Vincent, you saw on base one that uh, no one died. You know, 
It happens. Yeah, Jetfire just got a bit sucked ahead, that's all, but um Hey, it happens, it happens. It happens. You have a plan and something is wrong, that's when it starts to go backwards. Okay. What else? Bit of Titan Assault, I think. At least a bit of Titan Assault, don't we? When we go in and try to find Titan Assault, there it is. But yeah, if you've got any uh, questions in the chat, guys, and stick it in, let's be honest, Titan Assault is pretty easy. <laughs> it's fast, dropping fast forward, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just thinking now, how to take that base on? How do I take that base on? I'll watch some replays, see how everyone else does it. I know for a fact people will use Warpath, but I ain't got Warpath. Yeah, but don't forget we still stream on Thursdays, guys, so we will still be here on Thursday. Doing our regular uh, news and update stream, as always. It's a bit more uh, regimented in a way. On a Thursday, we know I know what topics I'm covering. We cover the news and anything new and things like that. Uh, I think there's a yeah, there's a space stream this week, so we'll be covering that obviously and talking about uh, anything they show in the stream. So that'll be pretty decent. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, them announcing a five-star batch. Hopefully, I doubt it, but this soon. But you never know. Go get him, Lancer. Grand tank. Isn't it ironic that uh, Warpath transforms into a tank, but he's not a tank? Yeah. Isn't it ironic that probably Grimlock's probably the one Autobot that he maybe fears in a way? And he's a glass cannon. <laughs> Got no health at all. That's still bizarre. Very bizarre. Oh, but uh, talking of uh, sort of real life stuff uh, earlier, um, so because uh, I was working so much, it was uh, it's Jacob's end of season, so he's just finished his season off. Uh, it's done with end of the season, so uh, I had a bet with him beginning of the season. Uh, so last last season in a lower level team, and I think he got about thirty goals. I think he was top goal scorer, uh, and I said, right, okay, you're going to a harder team, but uh, you're playing in midfield rather than striker. Uh, he's a winger by trade, he is, but he played up front for the team because he was very good. And he was playing maybe a bit lower level than he should to help his confidence. And uh, I said, right, you're a higher team now, so let's go. Uh, rather than goals, we'll go 30 goals and assists combined. So uh, he was doing quite poor before Christmas and he's absolutely smashed it out of the park since then. Uh, since like January. He was like a different kid. Uh, and uh, he won uh, most improved. Which I probably agree with, in a way. I, don't, I mean, I'm not saying like he deserves it, but I mean like he has improved over the year uh, compared to what he was last year. Yeah, he's definitely improved. Uh, and he also got Players Player. For me, that's always the the best award you should be looking for because that's your peer. That's the people that you play with, you know, every day, week in, week out. And uh, they voted for you. So, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I'd be really, I'm, I'm pleased, I'm proud of him. Uh, he was his one. He's had a good season. And on to next season, um, he had a choice whether to stay with the coach or not. And he was a bit, oh, no, everybody should move up or whether he should stay. And I said, listen, I think you should stay. Play with his team. It's a, it's a decent team. Uh, they're not the highest. Well, it's debatable. So that's a, that's a number star. Uh, the, his team and another team are probably like that in level. He was thinking about going to another team. I was like, no, stay this team. You like the guys you're with. But you just need to push them a bit harder, make them look better by you upping your game. And uh, on to next season. So, yeah. Be good for him. Guys, the problem is that. Uh, oh, well, Freeze Maximus put. Uh, if you say, is it ironic? You're obligated to say it. <laughs> In Alanis Morissette's voice. <laughs> I think you're showing your age there. Guys, <laughs> the problem is that the tank that Warpath turns into is a World War II tank. Most missiles nowadays will blow it up anyway. Yeah, true. That's a good point. Point made out of tin. 
<laughs> should call that. I should call, should call Warpath the Tin Tank. Let's fast forward now. Battle done. I'm thinking I might do a sack, you know. I might do a sack on that base. A lot of the outposts are out front. But then, I don't know, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of HP, a lot of DPS out front, isn't there? So maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I'll leave this thing into you, Grand Time. <laughs> I don't like this ability, this, these rockets, it's awful. Absolutely awful. It just doesn't go where you want it to and... <coughs> Not a fan. Watch, right in the middle of them two. Yeah, I missed it. He's actually nearer to the uh, missile launcher. Still missed it. Does everyone else find this so monotonous? I think that I said to the apes that I, I understand, but what you should have to do is once you get to a certain level, you should be able to just skip these first two. These are ridiculous now. You should be able to just skip them, but I understand that the program may be involved in just skipping it will be a lot for what you get out of it. But it's just like. Monotonous. That is the word. Monotonous. And if you don't know what that means, go up in the dictionary under Metroplex or Titan. And it says monotonous. <laughs> monotonous. Did 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 did. Monotonous. Did 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 did. Monotonous. Did 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 did. <laughs> See, you did get a bit of singing out at me after all. See, I still try and path and avoid the outposts and things like that, just because it's boring if you don't. <laughs> That's kind of my game in Titan Assault. How many outposts can I avoid? <laughs> Quite a test, but try doing Titan Assault for two accounts. No thanks. No thanks. <coughs> I've got a song in my head now. Monotonous. Do 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 do. Monotonous. <laughs> Grand says, but yeah, you should leave a singing to me. Yeah, I definitely should. I'm under no illusions. I'm under no illusions. I'll leave a singing to you and you leave the gameplay to me. <laughs> Skip it, skip, 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 skip. I can't keep doing this on stream, honestly. I'm bored, never mind you guys. <laughs> I don't know, grind time, but uh, I think you might get a better score than me this war, maybe. You never know. These wars are where those with the more bots and the more options will, uh, you know, do well. Marcus Johansson, hey, was well, so they finally added hard enough wars that even the best players will lose points now. Yeah, finally. 
Finally. Matt Paul is put now, now, boys. Grindtime has the bigger bot selection, but was he used this better? We get it. <laughs> you, you, probably, you're probably about right there, to honest with you. I wish he had Grindtime's bots. But yeah, the new the new effects are really tough to fair. They are really tough, so uh but I'm glad. I'm glad they're more challenging. It's a good thing. Stop! Stop! There we go. Now he's finally fighting melee. That's how you do it. Keep him at a distance. It's easy. Yeah, Mark, Mark Johansson. It's all right, mate. It's not too bad, you know. There's worse games out there. You know, I enjoy the game still, you know. But yeah, I agree, Vincent. The first few battles are a bit like, ugh, you know. But, you know, the likes of me, Grind Time, and your Hoist, and Soldier, and... How old did you have? We're good advocates for the game. You know, we enjoy the game. Uh, we enjoy giving you guys a bit of content, you know, and you know, hopefully giving you guys some tips and advice on how to get the best out of the game or enjoy the game the most or do well in the game. That's obviously the idea, hopefully. So, yeah. Right, well, I think we're going to call it a night. To be honest with you guys, because uh, it's getting late over here. It's like half time at night. We're in work in the morning. And I think I'll come back tomorrow afternoon when there's a few more replays because uh, there's not many right now. But, uh, yeah, be interesting war. Well, be good. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll update you guys on Discord on how I do. Be interesting. I can't remember the last time I didn't beat a commander. Uh, I've dropped points here and there. Everyone does. But especially on these effects. So we'll have to wait and see. I'll keep you guys updated. So, uh, yeah, join my Discord. You want to come and see how this war finishes and how I do. But, uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Really appreciate it, and uh, you know, come and hit, come and see me on Thursday where we'll be streaming again, uh, covering the stream and the newsletter and things like that. And then uh, we're going to be posting some videos in between as well. So uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, guys, hit that subscribe button, guys. Never miss another stream. Never miss another video. Yeah, why not? Why not? It doesn't cost a penny, guys, to subscribe. It doesn't cost a penny. I need just ten subs to get to four k. Don't make me beg. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching guys Appreciate everyone that's tuned in And as always guys, peace out guys